Hi everyone, this is a quick video from me, Corp Mavs, to say well done, you're almost there. You've got your final GCSE Mavs exam tomorrow, so well done. Well done on doing all those years worth of work from primary school, secondary school, and especially this exam year. Preparing for that paper one exam, sitting it, paper two exam, sitting it, and then finally this paper three exam, this last bit of preparation, you're almost there. And make it count, this is your last day to prepare for your GCSE Mavs exam. Put in a lot of effort because you're almost there, you might as well just put in as much effort as you can between now and the exam, and leave nothing to chance. The more you prepare, the better place you'll be in for that exam. So just keep up the hard work. One big day of revision, looking at all the resources that are available for you, those GCSE checklists, those on-scene topic checklists, so have a look at those, those topics that haven't appeared yet, those star topics on Corbett Maps. Have a go at those and make sure you're confident with those. And also remember to revise everything else. Have a look at the preparation papers as well. There's preparation papers on Corbett Maps. They'll be quite useful for you and especially the video tutorials. There might be certain topics you might want to do some last minute revision on, perhaps the sign rule or the cosine rule or Pythagoras theorem or iteration or using the quadratic formula. There may be topics you may want to do a bit of a revision on. And if you go to Code Maps and go to the videos and worksheets page, there's video tutorials there, there's questions there for you as well and there's answers as well. So what I say is leave nothing to chance. You've got one more day to go, put in as much work as you can, revise really, really hard for this last exam and just know by the end of it, you've tried your very very best so keep up the hard work and then hopefully tomorrow will go really well so that's in terms of you're almost there keep up the hard work you're doing so well preparation have a look at those on-team topic checklists on Corbin Mavs if you go to Corbin Mavs and go down to the GCSE 2024 section there's checklists there on-team topic checklists have a look at those the preparation papers and all those questions and answers in Corbin Mavs in those video tutorials so all those resources will be useful for you as well in terms of questions, if you've got any last minute questions on this video, there's the comment section below. If you've got any comments or questions you might want to put on, or even just comments, I'm going to try and get back to as many as I can. The last time that we put, had an exam before that paper too, I was quite active in replying to, I think I replied to every single comment that was, that was posted. So if you've got any questions, like some people, for instance, asked, just some people have questions. So for instance, one student asked for resources in circle terms. So I was able to reply with the videos and questions in circle terms to help them with their revision. Another student asked, would the formula for the volume of a sphere be given to them. Some people ask me just to wish them good luck. So if you get any questions before tomorrow's exams, if you post them in the comments below, once I've checked it and approved it, I'll respond to it and then and hopefully I'll help you for your revision. So in terms of tips before tomorrow's exams, tomorrow's your last exam, so work as hard as you can today, make sure you do lots and lots of revision. Make sure you get a good breakfast in the morning. So because obviously the exam's quite long, so make sure you've got that slow release energy. So for instance, have some porridge, some bananas, a fry, whatever you want to have. Make sure you've got a good breakfast in the morning. And make sure you know where you're going to be going in the morning. So make sure you've got all your equipment ready and you know where you're going to go. In terms of your equipment, tomorrow's a calculator paper. So make sure you've got your calculator. Make sure it's in degrees mode. So make sure obviously you've got that little D at the top. So that whenever you're answering those trigonometry questions, it's got that D at the top for it. And also in terms of your exam, the, the general advice to so make sure you try every question, give everything a shot, particularly those questions at the end, give them a shot, even if it's something that's quite tricky, because they like to put those tricky questions at the end. Make sure you write down what you know and give it a go, because you might pick up a mark or two that might make a difference in terms of your grade overall. So give every question a shot. Make sure you show your method. It's a calculator paper. So for instance, if you do something like the square root of a number on your calculator, write down the square root of that number and then equals. So make sure you write it on the page as well so the examiner knows what you've typed into your calculator. So make sure you write down your method. Make sure that if the question asks you to give a reason for your answer, make sure you give those reasons. Make sure you try every question. And just good luck. I really, really hope tomorrow's exam goes well. Believe in yourself. You can do this. You've worked so hard for paper one and paper two. And this is your last exam. Work really hard for it and leave nothing to chance. And hopefully tomorrow's exam will go really, really well. But you can do this. You're so close. Just that one last exam. And hopefully if you've got a good marks overall, hopefully this one will go equally well and you get that top grade. Or if you've had a couple of papers that might maybe not have gone as well as you'd wanted this last paper hopefully if you work really hard it'll go really well hopefully it'll put you up to that great grade as well so keep up the hard work believe in yourself you can do this and the last thing i just want to say is thank you a, a lot of you have used the resources the corporate Mouse resources over the years and i just want to say thank you so much for watching the resources every single one of you that has subscribed to the youtube channel or perhaps have left comments or even just a thumbs up and um, people that have bought the revision cards that, that that means a lot to me in terms of who bought those revision cards and hopefully i'll help you for those exams as well but i just want to say thank you so much hopefully over the years wherever it's been in primary school if you use the code maps primary resources then Perhaps you're in lockdown, perhaps you use the resources then. But hopefully all these resources, the hundreds of days ago videos, hopefully all those resources have been useful for you. And I just want to say thank you so much for choosing to use the Corp Miles resources. I wish you all the very best for your exam tomorrow. I hope it goes well. 
fingers crossed. Once you've got the exam done, obviously you finish off the rest of your GCSE exams, have a really good summer. Try not to worry about how the GCSE maths exams went until you get your results and hopefully you get that top grade. So just to say, thank you so much for using the resources. If you have found the Code Maths resources useful, please tell your younger brothers and sisters, your friends, your teachers that you found them useful. Hopefully they'll keep on using them as well. Just want to say thank you so much. Good luck for your exam tomorrow. You can do this. And then just last one is just one big push between now and the exams. Do lots and lots of revision and fingers crossed it'll go well for you. So use all the resources there available for you. Leave nothing but chance to just give it your all for this last day. All the best. Cheers. Bye.